Oh no, don't wrap around the tripod. Oh lord. Good morning, my boy. What's him doing? Can I have a morning hug? Oh, thank you. Oh! All right, love you, dude. I didn't have time to bring you guys into the snake room this morning because I need to go to work. I usually don't have to be at work at any certain time necessarily, but I told Richard that I would be there between 9 and 9.30. So if I tell somebody I'm gonna be somewhere, I need to be there because I like to practice being impeccable with my word. That's just me, that's what I do. At least I try, it doesn't always work out, but for the most part, if I say I'm gonna be somewhere, I am there, all right? So let's do this. So how did you like those elephant seals yesterday? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty awesome find that little gopher snake too, randomly, that was pretty sweet. How are you guys liking the vlog so far? Are you guys enjoying it? I gotta say I'm honestly having a lot of fun doing it. I've been spending a little more time on it than I had originally planned. You know, I was just gonna sit in the snake room and talk for a few minutes and then just put it up. I'm having fun. I'm having fun going out and filming this stuff. I feel like it's gonna help me a lot in uh, all my video aspirations, you know, just every day doing video and editing video. It's it's gonna help me get better at it, which is that I, I kind of want to do. I want to get better at it. I want to get better at everything that I do, really, obviously, of course. Well, I gotta say, I was a little bit tired this morning. I woke up at 6.30 and then my body said, no, maybe not, and so I went back to bed for a couple hours. That's why I had to hit the road so quick. But I've been having a blast with it. I've been having a blast with it. And you know, the time that I spend editing, I was watching movies and stuff and TV shows on my computer and just kind of turning my brain off and not really doing anything but vegetableizing. <laughs> How's that for a word? And now I'm doing creative stuff, so it's fun. And there's some pretty exciting stuff coming up here in the next month. It's actually a, uh, a childhood dream of mine that I'm gonna fulfill. I don't, I don't have the details completely worked out yet so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spill the beans about what it is we're gonna do but literally a childhood dream going to be realized here so that's pretty exciting if you can see outside it looks like we got some good weather happening the rain has stopped so we just might be able to take Monday's triple B TV episode with the reticulated pythons outside which is what I really wanted to do and we just might be able to do it so we'll see I want to give a couple shout outs to a few people. Jay Boa from the channel Boxing Boa. Carla from the channel One Soft Kiss. Also Mike McArthur over at MIM Reptiles. Gay from Gotta Love Carpet Pythons. Ryan Muller, I hope I said your name right. <laughs> My buddy Ryan. Mark Adams. And honestly the list goes on and on. I could make a long list, but th those are just the first people that jump to mind. You folks have been extremely supportive and very helpful and everything I'm doing here. It really, when I get up in the morning to do what I do, the fact that you guys are out there with that support makes it so much easier for me to do it, you know? And having that support, it makes it doable. It makes it easier for me to do. And those folks I just mentioned also, most of them have really awesome channels with positive messages and I urge you guys to go and check them out. Well, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the beautiful scenery with me on my way to work here. And then after I'm done, we're gonna head back to the house and check out a couple snakes. If there's any snake in particular you'd like to see in, in close-up detail, just let me know. I will show that snake. Done with work. Gonna go pick up the boys from Morro Bay and then head back to the house and we'll check out some snake stuff finally. So a couple people expressed some concern over filming myself while driving. And that's a legitimate concern, I think. They've got a pretty safe setup, I think. You know, it's a little unit right here. The camera's there. It's basically in the same spot as a GPS unit, but even smaller than a GPS unit. I don't know, my eyes never really leave the road. I'll take a picture of what I'm working with. You guys, you guys tell me what you think about this. Maybe it's, maybe it's not good, but take a look. And it's hands-free, of course. You know, I'm not touching anything. It's just, I got my, get my hands, both hands on the wheel. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Is that, is that, do you think I'm endangering people? I mean, driving itself is dangerous, of course, but I don't know, it seems, it seems fairly safe to me. My eyes, you know, my eyes virtually never leave the road. It's right there in the center of the windshield. I don't know, what do you guys think? <laughs> See, we've decided that 
let Eli out of his cage for the rest of the day. <laughs> the perfect boys room. <laughs> what you doing in here, boy? Trying to screw the dump truck. Trying to screw the dump truck? Yeah. How do you like these walls? Okay, honestly, I, I love this room. I mean, look at this. Look at it. And then you have that. <laughs> awesome. Alrighty, we're home. What do you say we go look at some snakes? Alrighty then. I think what we'll do is take a look at a few of the hatchlings. How about that? This was the first little dude to come out of the egg right here. And he is a firefly clown. Look at that guy, man. Just a beauty. Look at that face. When I first saw that head pop out, I was just like, oh my goodness. I could look at pretty snakes all day long, honestly. And this here is a fire clown female. Look at her head, man. So cool. Wow. <laughs> she looks just as crazy on camera as she does in person. Maybe even a little crazier for some reason. Isn't she gorgeous, though? She's also taking frozen thawed pinky rats on her own, which is fantastic. And I've got a verbal agreement with a buddy that he's gonna take this girl, so pretty sure his word is gold. This is the girl that we're all pretty sure is a firefly and she clown. And she's gonna stay here, so I don't need to prove it to anybody but myself. She's a beauty, she's a beauty. I had come up with a name for her the other day and I, f I forgot what it was. How could I do that? I'm pretty sure I was talking with my mom about it. I'll have to double check with her. Come on camera, let's get some focus in here, huh? There we go. What do you guys think? Pretty good looking snake, huh? This guy's from the clutch that uh, gave me problems. Or that I gave problems, or you know, the clutch that didn't do so well. But this dude is now taking frozen thawed rat pups. And he came out of the egg at 45 grams, and now he's sitting at about 120. So he's almost tripled in size since he was born. Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. This is not working out the way that I, I want it to. At least she's not biting me. Well, sorry about the horrible footage, guys, but there you have it. Filming a scrub python and all the, the ease that comes with it. <laughs> Enjoy your day, and please take care of each other and take care of yourselves in reverse order. Say bye-bye, Annie. Bye-bye, Annie. Holy Ziploc heaven. I know where I'm coming next time I need to seal something up fresh. Uncle Dave's house. All right, one more thing real quick. I want to talk to you guys about compromise. The kids wanted to spray their spray bottles in the house, and it's too dark to let them go outside and spray the way they're actually allowed to spray the spray bottles. So we came up with a compromise. We're spraying the lava water monster. <laughs> So that was a pretty good compromise, I think, right? So I know I asked earlier about the, uh, the driving in the car with the camera thing, and one of the people that actually pointed it out to me, he actually lost one of his friends due to somebody not paying attention to the road completely, playing on their phone or something while driving. Honestly, that conversation was enough to convince me to not film, even though how good, however good I think my setup is. He had a very valid point, you know, is it, is it worth somebody's life? No. It's not. It's, just, it's a simple answer for me. I encourage you guys to always communicate with me, communicate with each other, of course, and talk about things 
like that. Things that, you know, because I'll be honest, when I first saw the message, which was text-based, we didn't talk on the phone, it was a text, you know, a text-based message. Actually, up in the Positive Pythons group, <laughs> what I thought was a poor choice to start the conversation. However, you know, I took it pretty, I took it negatively. I took it as a negative connotation of saying, you know, what are you doing driving and filming? And I took it that way until we had the phone call and heard, you can hear the inflections in each other's voice and tones and we came to what I thought was a reasonable compromise. You know, if I feel like filming, I, I kind of decided on my own, if I, if I feel like filming and I have something to film and I'm in the car, I can just pull over and talk about it for a little bit and I have no problem with that. Now don't get any ideas like you think you can just influence me to do whatever you want. I'm not going to start doing weird stuff or stop doing things like filming my children. Somebody said that at one point, yes. However, I like to think that I'm a pretty reasonable guy. And so if you guys have anything to say to me, I'm here to listen. You guys have a good rest of your day.